Hi Leos and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading from October 13th through the 19th, 2019. And please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it applies, then I would love to read your comment down below. And also I'm still offering the free 15 minutes phone reading. So if you're interested, you can contact me at my email address, which is intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. But you must subscribe first in order for you to get your free readings. Okay, and also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now with that being said, let's get your reading started. I already shuffled your cards off camera <clears throat> for the sake of time, but I'll shuffle them one more time. Okay, Le uh, Burgos. Oh my God, Leos, I'm sorry, Leos. <laughs> I'm going to have to do Virgo next. <laughs> Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th through the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th through the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th through the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love. That's way too many cards. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. These cards are sticky. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th. Please tell me about Leo's in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Leo's in love <coughs> from October 13th to the 19th. Wow, please tell me about Leo's in love from October. There we go, finally. At the bottom of the deck, we got the six of wands, so there's a victory here. First card out, seven of wands, four of pentacles, and the king of wands. So somebody's holding back. They could be holding back emotionally. And somebody's fighting for, they're standing up for themselves. They're standing up for themselves. They're fighting for what they feel is right. And they're holding back. They could either be holding back, um, they could be holding their, holding on financially, holding back financially. Or they could just not be opening up to you emotionally. And then we got this King of Wands here, which this King of Wands, he's a passionate king. So he's always ready. When he wants something, he goes he goes for it. He's very passionate. He's ambitious. He's a go-getter. He's always ready for anything. He doesn't get ready. He is ready. Now, doesn't get ready. I was ready, ready. Something like that. You know what I'm saying. Okay, Leos, let's find out about this. Also, you could be dealing with another fire sign, which is... Of course, yourself, Leo, and Sagittarius, and um, Aries. And we could also have, you could be dealing with a pentacle. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Please get more information on the Seven of Wands. Please get more information on the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Please get more information on the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Please get more information. Please get more information on the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Please get more information on the seven of wands. Please get more information on the seven of wands. Why is okay? Please get more information on the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Please get more information on the seven of wands. Please get more information on the seven of wands. Okay, here we go. So we have the Queen of Cups here, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Chariot. So someone is no longer confused. They're fighting for 
this connection and they want to offer love they want to offer love there's love here that's being offered most likely at one point this person was probably confused and now they're no longer confused because now they know what they want and they'll want and the only cup that they want is your cup so either they had options and they didn't know who to choose but now they already know who to choose and the cup that they want is your cup or they could have just been confused but now they're no longer confused because now they're fighting for what they want and they want to move forward with this love so leo this could be you or could be them okay it doesn't have to be you it could always be the other person here and with the bottom of the deck we have the nine of cups here so emotionally fulfilled you emotionally fulfill this person you guys could be emotionally fulfilling to each other and this person maybe at one point like i said they had options but not anymore now they just want to be with you and they want to move forward with you they want to make the offering to you let's see what is this four pentacles all about if you gain more information on these four pentacles why is the four pentacles here Please give me more information on the Four of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Four of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the... Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands in reverse, So, and we got the Seven of Wands and the Six of Swords. So somebody here is coming. Somebody here left because there were... It was conflict. Because of the, yeah, because of the conflict. See, we're getting it twice. We got the seven of wands twice. There was, there was fighting here, and it could have been with this queen of wands, because this queen of wands, she's in reverse, and the queen of wands in reverse, she could become codependent. She could be codependent, that she could have creative blocks, because the queen of, of, wands upright she's a dependent queen she's a very self-independent queen and she's very creative she's ambitious she's a go-getter but in reverse she's codependent and that could explain why somebody's holding back financially and there was conflict going on between the both of you guys and within this connection and someone left someone left here I want I think this is yeah someone left here there was there was and there was either someone was holding back financially from you it could have been the queen of wands that was holding back financially and someone else was being codependent either you or the other person was codependent and there was conflict that Got, and ended up creating ended up creating conflict and somebody just left. Let's see about this King of Wands. And we also have a couple here. Because we got the King of Wands and now we got the Queen of Wands. So there's a couple here. Please give me more information on the King of Wands. Please give me more information on this King of Wands. Please give me more information on this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Please give me more information on this King of Wands. Please give me more information on this King of Wands. Please give me more information on this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Okay. So. We have the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So there's going to be communication here. You could be dealing with a Cancer as well. And you could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you could just be dealing with someone, you know, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is what I'm seeing here. Or like I said, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries or earth sign mainly cancers that i'm seeing i'm mainly seeing cancer here and fire 
So, but, but that's going to be, look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups here. And underneath that, we have the king of uh, pentacles here. The king of pentacles. So this person is going to be communicating. There's going to be communication here. There's going to be communication here with this page of swords. And there's going to be an offering made. And this person is going to be very persistent. They're not going to give up easily. They're not going to take no as an answer. They're going to be very persistent. They're going to communicate with you. Now, when they communicate with you, it's not going to be basically lovey-dovey. All that cheesy stuff is not going to be like that. It's going to be more direct straight to the point it may be kind of harsh so you may not like what you hear but this person is going to be very direct with you and they're going to be straight to the point and they're going to be offering you uh it could be this could be an apology as well they're going to be offering you their cup there's going to be an offering that's going to be made here and they're not going to take no for an answer they're not going to take no for an answer because now they want now that this person wants to come back because remember they left or it could be you going to them making this offering because the person did leave because of the conflict that was going on between you guys financial conflict because it looked like to me it was financial conflict or it could have just been emotion somebody was emotionally holding back with the four pentacles looks like somebody could have been holding back emotionally or could have been financially but the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Rods here in reverse, she's codependent. So this could have been a codependent situation here and someone ended up leaving. And now either you or them wants to communicate and make an offering. Now, I don't see this person as this Knight of Cups. I don't see this person as a new person. And the reason why I say I don't see it as a new person because we have the Nine of Wands here. And this person is very persistent, and they're not going to take no as an answer. And normally, you know, when you meet somebody and the person want to ask you out on a date, and you, you basically tell them no, that you're not interested, they may not continue going, continue asking you out, asking you out, unless they're really into you and they turn into stalkers, but... Most, but most of the times, sometimes as sometimes a person that's very persistent, you tend to know them already. You was probably already with that person, and they want to, they want to, you know, they want to start all over with you. So, it could be a new person, somebody that you already know, that wants to be with you now, that wants to date with date you now that they know that you're no longer with the other person because you guys because you left. So this person could be trying to come in now, wanting to make an offering to you, and they're not going to take no as an answer. And like I said, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups here. And this person, this person might be, uh, the per underneath that is the king of pentacles. So this person that's coming towards you, this is a stable person. they stable. They're, they're, uh... This is your father. I mean, not. this is a father figure, not your father. This is a father figure. This is a husband. This person, he's a great provider. He's your CEO. He's your supervisor. He's your manager. He's your director. He's a business owner. He's a great provider. So this person that comes in, if it's a new person, is going to be this person right here. It's going to be a, a pinnacle. And this person, when they come in, they're in it for the long haul. They're not in it just for a good time. They're in it for the long haul. Or it could be the same person that you walked away from. They could be coming back as a changed person wanting to rekindle your relationship, the two of cups, because there is love between the both of you guys. And like I said, at the bottom of the other deck, there's going to be a victory here. And underneath that, we got the lovers. So there's love here, and underneath that, we got the Empress. New beginnings, expansion, growth, new beginning. So there's going to be a victory here. And, and we got the lovers here. So there'll be a vi there's going to be a victory here. But then, this, but then at the end of the day, this is going to be your decision. 
if you decide to take this person back, if it's someone from your past, if you decide to take them back, that's going to be your decision. And if it's someone new that's coming in, it's still your decision whether you want to take it or not. Take this person up on their offer. But it's going to have a good outcome. It will have a good outcome here because there's going to be a victory here. Okay, now let's get your love advice reading. Please give me a love advice reading for Leo. Please give me a love advice reading for Leo. 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 Here we go. Step into the unknown. Uh, curiosity keeps us heading down new paths, so take a chance. There you go, Leo. Take a chance, Leo. And that's all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again next week for your weekly readings. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, Leos.